shift to a sport that actually started as a summer diversion for hockey players. Imagine this ice covered in artificial turf. If you do, you have indoor lacrosse, and Luke Nellis checks out Chicago's new pro team. Exploding onto the Chicago pro sports scene at the Sears Center in Hoffman Estates, the Shamrocks give fans a new reason to cheer. Indoor lacrosse may be new to most Chicagoans, but after eight home games from January into April, the team believes fans will feel lucky to have the Shamrocks. It's hockey running. It's six on six. You take the ball and throw it in the net, and most goals win. It's a simple sport to understand, and fans are going to like it because they're up close and personal right at the Sears Center. There's a lot of action. You know, we average about 25 goals a game, so you're constant. there's constant scoring, constant um, up and down running. There's a lot of hitting, which I think the Chicago fan will like, and uh, I really believe they're going to love it. Very fast moving game. Uh, the kids are having a ball. Uh, it's been uh, very interesting to watch. I guess closer to hockey than anything else, but it's uh, a lot faster. Currently fielding 13 teams, the National Lacrosse League is in its 21st year. With franchises now located outside lacrosse hotbeds in the Northeast and Canada, the league seems poised for unprecedented growth. Right now, the league's averaging about 10,000. You know, you got some of the teams like Toronto and Colorado, Philadelphia, around 16, 17,000, which, you know, you're talking, that's big time crowds. Now, I've played just about every sport there is out there, but never lacrosse. So joining me from the Shamrocks is Zach Hefner, who's going to Teach me about the equipment and teach me how to play the game. Thanks for joining us oh, here pleasure. on 190 North. What do we got here? Oh, well, we got basically a basic equipment with the guys on the field are wearing underneath their uh, game jerseys all the time. Basically for protection and also flexibility, the two main factors that we're looking at when we're trying to put our equipment together. Well, are we ready to go? Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Now I need to learn how to play the game. This is our stick. It's comprised of uh, like three main parts. This is the head. When it includes the mesh which holds the ball in it, and also down here you have the shaft. With your top hand right here, yeah. you want to push forward with this hand, and then with your bottom hand at the same time, you want to pull down. So the motion kind of looks like this. It's a nice fluid follow So go all motion. the way, follow through. Mm -hmm. All right, I know you guys were just practicing. You got some of the, your teammates here. Mm -hmm. you mind if I play catch with you guys? Oh, you can hop in. Oh, there you go. Oh. Huh? Did nice. you see that? Oh, boy. All right, count me out as a player, but as a fan, you can count me in for the action and atmosphere. You put that in a big uh, gumbo, stir it all together, and you've got some of the chemistry that can make it a very successful and fan-friendly sport and find its place in Chicago sports. Yeah! For 190 North, I'm Lou Canellis. Got it! Thank you, Lou. If you'd like some information about the team, go to our website, 190north.com, and we will link you to